Jimmy Wayne went from homeless to finding fame in Nashville. Well, Jimmy Wayne is now opening up about his journey in the book, Walk to Beautiful, The Power of Love, and a homeless kid who found the way. He joins us now. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You know, your book is powerful. I'm sure it was a powerful journey to write, but also for those who have gone through the foster system and know that journey too well, why did you want to write it? Well, um, I wanted to uh, take the next step in my journey of raising awareness for these children who are growing up in foster care and uh, primarily ra aging out at 18 years young. In 2010, I walked halfway across America to raise awareness. So writing a book made perfect sense. I co-wrote it with 15-time New York Times bestselling author Ken Abraham, uh, master writer. And um, so uh, I hope... Well, and, and, and it's interesting, we spoke uh, offline. Uh, I can't imagine what it, would have, what it felt like to have your mom uh, and your stepfather at that point drop you off at a bus stop, no money, nothing. and. You know, how, how did you feel? How did you reconcile? Are you reconciled now with your mom? I, mean, I have so many questions just yeah. reading about it. Well, you know, I grew up in the system, in and out of the system, couch surfing, sleeping with, at friend's house, stranger's house, and ended up homeless. Uh, when I was 13, my mom uh, married a guy uh, when she just she had just gotten out of prison, married a guy, and, and he committed a crime, took me and my mom with him on this long run from the law, and uh, was sleeping at rest areas, and eventually... Um, pulled into a, a parking lot in, in the middle of the night in Pensacola, Florida, made me get out of the car, and they drove off. You know, it's interesting. I can certainly relate. Sorry to interrupt, Elizabeth. No, Mom and Dad were married and divorced four times each. Mom was on welfare for a period of time. A lot of mm -hmm. violence, and I think that's uh, what you, what, you, you were telling me, that a lot of violence in your family. So is it a blessing in disguise that your mm -hmm. mom actually said, okay, we're done, so you didn't get caught up into Absolutely. that? Absolutely. You know, I, I, and, and my story pales in the light of the majority of these kids that are growing up in the system now, in and out of the system. It's just I've been given this opportunity, this platform uh, to, to share my story. Well, I think what's interesting, you both have stories of such resilience and strong character through tri really tribulation. Uh, and you have to have someone come in at some point with opportunity and rescue yeah. your foster mom. Well, Is that person absolutely. I'm 16 years old, living outside again, and was looking for an odd job. And I saw a doorway open on a wood shop. And there was an elderly man standing there cutting wood, and, and I asked him if he had a job I could I could have and uh, do, and, and and he said you need to ask the boss, and he pointed toward his wife, <laughs> and 75 year old woman allowed me to cut their grass and, and eventually move into their home, and wow. that saved my life. And I know that uh, obviously they're not with us anymore, and uh, you've gone from obviously struggling to now being a pretty well known uh, country singer. I, I've listened to your stuff. You got a an amazing voice and a, a wonderful you. story. Toured with Brad Paisley, you know, yeah. a success yeah. story for sure. Well, none of that, none of that would be uh, even possible had it not been for this family. You know, in the book Walk to Beautiful, we talk about being Russell Costner, who took me in, gave me a chance to go to school, college, pursue my dream, and ended up playing Madison Square Garden. And, and Sweet. Uh, wow, I mean, doing what, what I do today. All right, here we go. I'm gonna. My daughter, my, my daughter and wife are freaking <laughs> out. Okay. I'm gonna else see. No, here. listen. My wife says I should play songs in this century, from this century. I've actually gotten up to the 70s and 80s. Okay, so, let's so see if you, we're gonna guess, you're right, going to guess. you guys ready? I'm going to try. Okay. I'm bad at this game. Uh, <laughs> I'll play eardrum. Dream police. What? <laughs> yes, yes. Dream. Is that right? How <laughs> did you know that? I didn't even get started in my solo. That's in great. Solo. No, 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 no. This is solo. No, no, that's up. Is that it? <laughs> See, he's too good. He's good, so that's what, it was easy for me. <laughs> Listen, stuff. enough of me. One of my favorite songs, oh. Holland Oates, Sarah Smile. Classic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Classic song, so please, we'd be honored. Oh, did I almost hit you? That's okay. That wouldn't be the first Love time. Love you to play that song. Play something like that. Mm -hmm. Baby hair. The woman's eye I can feel you watching In the night All along with me Oh Waiting for the sunlight mm -hmm. And when I feel cold You want me 
You come and hold me It's you and me forever Everybody, unbelievable. Oh, that is oh, yeah. fantastic. What a, what a gorgeous voice. Sarah. Oh, you just made the senator's Keep, day, by the way. Listen, I'm, I'm sure ready. Goes. We're going to take a lesson after.